polypolymerase is a family of proteins involved in a number of cellular processes involving mainly DNA repair and programmed cell death. Members of PARP family The PARP family comprises 17 members. They have all very different structures and functions in the cell. PARP1, PARP2, VPARP, TANKYRASE1 and minus 2 have a confirmed PARP activity. Others include PARP3, PARP6, TIPARP, PARP8, PARP9, PARP10, PARP11, PARP12, PARP14, PARP15, and PARP-16, PARP structure, PARP is composed of four domains of interest, a DNA binding domain, a caspases cleave domain, and auto modification domain, and a catalytic domain. The DNA binding domain is composed of two zinc finger motifs. In the presence of damaged DNA, the DNA binding domain will bind the DNA and induce a conformational shift. It has been shown that this binding occurs independent of the other domains. This is integral in a programmed cell death model based on caspases cleavage inhibition of PARP. The auto-modification domain is responsible for releasing the protein from the DNA after catalysis. Also, it plays an integral role in cleavage-induced inactivation. Functions PARP is found in the cell's nucleus. The main role is to detect and signal single-strand DNA breaks that the enzymatic machinery involved in the SSB repair. PARP activation is an immediate cellular response to metabolic, chemical, or radiation-induced DNA SSB damage. Once PARP detects ASSB, it binds to the DNA and, after a structural change, begins the synthesis of a polychain as a signal for the other DNA-repairing enzymes such as DNA ligase 3, DNA polymerase beta, and scaffolding proteins such as X-ray cross-complementing gene 1. After repairing, the part chains are degraded via polyglycohydrolase. NAD plus is required as substrate for generating ADP ribose monomers. It has been thought that overactivation of PARP may deplete the stores of cellular NAD plus and induce a progressive ATP depletion and necrotic cell death. Since glucose oxidation is inhibited, but more recently it was suggested that inhibition of hexokinase activity leads to defects in glycolysis. Andrabi, PNAS 2014. Note below that PARP is inactivated by caspases 3 cleavage during programmed cell death. PARP enzymes are essential in a number of cellular functions, including expression of inflammatory genes. PARP1 is required for the induction of ICAM1 gene expression by smooth muscle cells in response to TNA activity. The catalytic domain is responsible for polypolymerization. This domain has a highly conserved motif that is common to all members of the PARP family. PAR polymer can reach lengths of up to 200 nucleotides before inducing apoptotic processes. The formation of PAR polymer is similar to the formation of DNA polymer from nucleoside triphosphates. Normal DNA synthesis requires that a pyrophosphate act as the leaving group, leaving a single phosphate group linking deoxyribose sugars. PAR is synthesized using nicotinamide as the leaving group. This leaves a pyrophosphate as the linking group between ribose sugars rather than single phosphate groups. This creates some special bulk to a PAR bridge, which may have an additional role in cell signaling.
role in repairing DNA NICs. One important function of PARP is assisting in the repair of single-strand DNA NICs. It binds sites with single-strand breaks through its N-terminal zinc fingers and will recruit XRCC1, DNA ligase 3, DNA polymerase beta, and a kinase to the NIC. This is called base excision repair. PARP2 has been shown to oligomerize with PARP1 and, therefore, is also implicated in BER. The oligomerization has also been shown to stimulate PARP catalytic activity. PARP1 is also known for its role in transcription through remodeling of chromatin by parallating histones and relaxing chromatin structure, thus allowing transcription complex to access genes. PARP1 and PARP2 are activated by DNA single-strand breaks, and both PARP1 and PARP2 knockout mice have severe deficiencies in DNA repair and increased sensitivity to alkylating agents or ionizing radiation. PARP activity and lifespan PARP activity measured in the permeabilized mononuclear leukocyte blood cells of 13 mammalian species correlates with maximum lifespan of the species. The difference in longevity between the longest and shortest lived species tested was fivefold. The automodification reaction of human and rat PARP1 was analyzed, and human PARP1 was found to have a twofold higher polyation capacity than the rat enzyme, which could account, in part, for the higher PARP activity in humans than rats. Lymphoblastoid cell lines established established from blood samples of humans who were centenarians have significantly higher PARP activity than cell lines from younger individuals, again indicating a linkage between longevity and repair capability. These findings suggest that PARP-mediated DNA repair capability contributes to mammalian longevity. Thus these findings lend support to the DNA damage theory of aging which assumes that unrepaired DNA damage is the underlying cause of aging and that DNA repair capability contributes to longevity. Role of tankeresses. The tankeresses are PARPs that comprise anchor and repeats polygamerization domain and a PARP catalytic domain. Tankeresses are also known as PARP5A and PARP5B. They were named for their interaction with the telomere associated TRF1 proteins and anchor in repeats. They may allow the removal of telomerase inhibiting complexes from chromosome ends to allow for telomere maintenance. Through the SAM domain and AN gaze, they can oligomerize and interact with many other proteins such as TRF1, TAB182, GRB14, IRAP, NUMA, EBNA1, and MCL1. They have multiple roles in the cell, vesicular trafficking through its interaction in GLUT4 vesicle with insulin response of amino peptidase. It also plays a role in spindle assembly through its interaction with nuclear mitotic apparatus, therefore allowing bipolarity. In the absence of TNKs, mitosis arrest is observed in pre-anaphase through MAD2 kinetically checkpoint. T TNKs can also parcelate MCL1L and MCL1S and inhibit both the pro- and anti-apoptotic function. Relevance of this is not yet known. Role in cell death PARP can be activated in cells experiencing stress and or DNA damage. Activated PARP can deplete the ATP of a cell in an attempt to repair the damaged DNA. ATP depletion in a cell leads to lysis and cell death. PARP also has the ability to induce programmed cell death via the production of PAR, which stimulates mitochondria to release AIF. This mechanism appears to be caspases independent. 
cleavage of PARP by enzymes such as caspases or cathepsins typically and activates PARP. The size of the cleavage fragments can give insight into which enzyme was responsible for the cleavage, and can be useful in determining which cell death pathway has been activated. Role in epigenetic DNA modification PARP-mediated post-translational modification of proteins such as CTCF can affect the amount of DNA methylation at CPGD nucleotides. This regulates the insulator features of CTCF can differentially mark the copy of DNA inherited from either the maternal or the paternal DNA through the process known as genomic imprinting. PARP has also been proposed to affect the amount of DNA methylation by directly binding to the DNA methyltransferase DNMT1 after attaching poly ADP ribose chains to itself after interaction with CTCF and affecting DNMT1's enzymatic activity. PARP inactivation. PARP is inactivated by caspases cleavage. It is believed that normal inactivation occurs in systems where DNA damage is extensive. In these cases, more energy would be invested in repairing damage than is feasible, so that energy is instead retrieved for other cells in the tissue through programmed cell death. Besides degradation, there is recent evidence about reversible downregulation mechanisms for PARP, among these an autoregulatory loop which is driven by PARP1 itself and modulated by the YY1 transcription factor, while in vitro cleavage by caspases occurs throughout the caspases family. Preliminary data suggest that caspases 3 and caspase 7 are responsible for in vivo cleavage. Cleavage occurs at aspartic acid 214 and glycine 215, separating PARP RP into a 24-KDA and 89-KDA segment. The smaller moiety includes the zinc finger motif requisite in DNA binding. The 89-KDA fragment includes the auto-modification domain and catalytic domain. The putative mechanism of PCD activation via PARP inactivation relies on the separation of the DNA binding region and the auto-modification domain. The DNA binding region is capable of doing so independent of the rest of the protein, cleaved or not. It is unable, however, to dissociate without the auto-modification domain. In this way, the DNA binding domain will attach to a damaged site and be unable to effect repair, as it no longer has a catalytic domain. The DNA binding domain prevents other non-cleave PARP from accessing the damaged site and initiating repairs. This model suggests that this sugar plug can also begin the signal for apoptosis.